By using our torch, we can see some symbols and some dots. Like this one's a pitchfork with two dots. This one is a crow's foot with three dots. We're going to want to remember those for later. Don't worry about that one. Uh, don't worry about that one. Uh, there's some stuff on this shelf. Don't worry about that one. Don't worry about that. And then here's like a scent symbol with four, so we need to remember that. Anyway, let's go back, back to this sort of bloodied area here, and then pull that piece of wood with your finger to reveal a ladder. We will climb the ladder. Up, up, and away. Hip, hip, hooray. Here's a dead bird. Hello, bird. And we're going to tap it a lot, and a bird will come out of the bird. Yo, dog, I heard you like birds, so I put a bird inside your bird. And he's going to run away, and he's going to give us our key that we've been looking for for so long. And then, just like the babies and the flame, we're going to drag the key with one finger, move the screen with the other, and take it all the way back to the gate. So we finally got the gate opened, but I don't want to go in there just yet because I've got to do a little bit of housekeeping before we can move on. What I want to do is find some trees that have got etchings on them. So if we go back here, there's um, a horse with a pitchfork, and here's a bird with a crow's foot. And do you remember we saw those symbols in the bunker that had the numbers? We can sort of cross-reference those. Uh, there's an angel with a scent symbol. So the scent symbol had four dots, and now there's an angel. So we know that an angel means four, uh, the horse means two, the bird means three, and there's one more, which is over here, the fetus with a pitchfork, so that means the fetus means two. So write all that down, well don't worry because I'll tell you it in a minute, but now we're going to go and do one more thing, which is to go find that tombstone we kept walking past, uh, it's got two fingerprints on it, so that means we want to touch it with two fingers at the same time. Where is this blighter? It's down here. Yeah, tap and hold two fingers on it to see this little animation. Okay, now we've got everything we need to know to complete the game, so let's go back to the uh, the graveyard, or whatever it is, and go through this gate. Now you can see there are those symbols that were on the trees, and if we sort of cross-reference the, the symbols with the other symbols and the numbers of dots we saw in the bunker, we can drag these up so the angel's got four, the horse and the fetus have got two, and the bird's got three. Ding, 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 we're done. We're not actually done, but we've done this bit. Hooray. Okay, now we're going to use those arrows we just saw on the uh, the tombstone thing to spin this church. We're going to spin it round once, all the way around left. Make sure you see that little symbol of the goat flash, that means you've done it. Now we're going to go around right. Uh, two times left. Right. Left. And now right. This bit's pretty easy, just pull apart this goat's coat with two fingers and then repeatedly tap on his exposed heart with a third finger. And you're also going to want to split apart the screen with two fingers in a second. Uh, here, yes, go for it.
just tap near all the crystal bits to smash them. Spin this down like crazy until it goes white, then let go. Tap these constellations in the order of the number of stars there are in each one. This is like a safe lock, twist it uh, sort of one way until one of those shards goes in, then twist it the other, then the other, then the other, clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, etc. until this happens. Just uh, spin this goat head left until it goes down to a little triangle and comes back again. Now move the screen left to finish the game. Congratulations, you finished Year Walk, but the adventure is not over yet, actually. We've still got a little bit more to do. You're going to get these sort of crazy cryptic messages now, and they're going to allude to something called the Companion. That is the Year Walk Companion app that you can get on the App Store for your iPhone and iPad. So while I'm watching uh, this little clip, go download that app and then jot down this passcode that's just about to appear in a few seconds.
1894. That is the thing you're going to want to remember. Okay, let's uh, close this and go open the Year Walk Companion app. This is the Companion app. It has lots of little bits of information about the game's mythology, but what you want to do is tap on the lock icon up in the top right and then type in that number, 1894. Now we've got this diary of all these notes about the game. Uh, I recommend you read it yourself, go through all the notes, but there's basically uh, five key dates that you're actually going to want to go and look at. So let's go find them. The first one is uh, October 8th, and you can see in that picture there's a triangle in the constellation. So jot that down. Um, next we want to go to October 30th. There's a right-hand side of a semicircle. Then on uh, November 19th, there's a square. On November 29th, there's a triangle in that painting. And then finally, on December uh, 18th, yep, there's a the bottom half of a semicircle. Okay, load the game up again and the actual game and then go walk again and this time don't do anything, just go straight to this creepy safe box here and then put in that passcode we just found. So that was the uh, upside down triangle, right half of the semicircle, uh, the square, the uh, proper triangle and then the bottom half of a semicircle and now we have the true ending to Year Walk. Thanks for watching the video, I hope this was of some help to you if you got stuck in the game. Um, we've always got guides to new iOS games at Pocket Gamer, uh, as well as loads of awesome stuff, reviews and features and stuff. So come on over, have a, have a gander, see what we've got up to uh, lately, and play some video games. Goodbye, goodnight.